Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while actually. Um, I think I just needed some time off to like kind of get in the right mindset again. You know, the restaurants and bars have opened back up but I'm still being precautious. I've had my two vaccines from the Pfizer vaccine. Um, Dexter's had one Pfizer vaccine. But yeah, basically I just thought I would vlog a bit this week. Um, today was my Nan's birthday, so we went and saw her um, and got her donuts and nice presents and things. Then, then we went to well, quite a lot's actually happened. That's what I think I wanted a bit of time off. One minute. I think I wanted a bit of time off vlogging so I could kind of get back in the swing of things and feel like my life had a bit of catching up to do to tell you guys because I don't know. It's just, um, it's hard to have too much to talk about if there's not too much going on, you know? So we're gonna just vlog and see how this goes. But I've seen my nan today, it's her birthday, she's turned 84, she got to see her on her birthday. Um, I've got a bit of a headache, but I think it's just the weather. I didn't have one, and then I had one yesterday, but yeah, I think I'm going to headache a bit again. But yeah, anyways, let's carry on. Um, I'm just going to have some water. I got two of these, which I absolutely love, from Amazon you can put your name on this sticker so you know it's your tumbler drinking thing and no one else can have it kind of thing um and yeah but it's really helping me drink a lot more water which i really like um so yeah that's good i also got i don't know i've just been in weird moods recently i've got really into tick 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 <laughs> i've really got into tiktok lately so I'm really enjoying that. I found some accounts that I really enjoy their content. I find it inspiring, you know, it makes me want to have a good day. So I feel like TikTok is a positive place now. When I first tried to understand the app, I felt like it was quite a stressful place. I felt like there was too much to consume at once. I mean, sometimes I feel like that is the case, but if I go in on there to see specific, I can't speak <laughs> if I go on there to see specific profiles of people I like watching then it's not as like seeing what the world's up to kind of thing which can be kind of overwhelming sometimes so I'm just like I've found a way that I can enjoy it which is great and I'm also trying to post content on there as well myself so you can by all means go over to my account Lily and Eve with an extra E at the end and check it out if you fancy. I don't really know what my account's about. It's kind of just summing up who I am I guess roughly. Like I'll do a few singing covers on there, I'll do some styling videos, some outfit of the days. I'll probably just do like random thrifting hauls. I just kind of want to do it like whatever I feel kind of thing and see what people like and you know go with that I guess. But yeah, I also got these um, plastic straws. Well, not plastic, but you know the silicon straws. I got them off Amazon. Um, I thought I got the jumbo ones, but turns out I didn't. Like I thought I got like the jumbo smoothie ones, but these are just like the regular tool ones, which are good nevertheless. But I wanted. I think I'll have to get the the wider straw ones because I quite like that for smoothie drinks and stuff like that. Um, I saw Polly recently which was really nice, we just caught up off camera, um, maybe next time I see her she'll be up for vlogging or something, I don't know, um, it's just kind of, I don't want to, well let me take my, <laughs> I'm just trying to get the hairband off my wrist. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I didn't want to, I don't want people around me to feel like I'm trying to force a camera in their face as much as I would like to get more videos up and vlog. Um, people around me don't necessarily want to be on camera and be on YouTube, which I understand because sometimes I feel like, why am I even putting my stuff on YouTube? But then I know that if I don't do it, I then wish I was doing it. It's like a catch 22 kind of thing but yeah so that's kind of a little summary of what's been up what I've been up to 
then we went to a flea market today it's kind of like a flea market thrift store type thing um where i only got two things but they're two things that i really like and were great prices so i thought i'd show you those um i can insert the clips quickly of just browsing through the shop first to show you that i've been out of my house and i have been somewhere because i'm aware that you know it was kind of boring me just filming in my house all the time which i'm hoping i won't have to do all the time now because I've had the vaccine, I've had both vaccines, things are opening up a bit more, we're not in a lockdown, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, hopefully more content's coming your way, hopefully it's more enjoyable. And yeah, so I'll just insert the photos here, and then we'll get on with the two items I got. Okay, so the first item I managed to get, which I'm really happy about, is this um, marble tray top type thing. Um, the only thing is that the two cork sponge things, there's missing one there to level it out on a table or something. So I was thinking, well, I wasn't thinking, but my mum luckily had some of these cork ones. So I can probably take these two off and then replace it with three or one yeah maybe three of these if they can fit in there instead so it's more even and it levels out on a table but I thought this is just an amazing thing like this it's a slab of marble and it's um it was only two pounds and I can't believe that because I've been looking for one of these for so long I've always wanted one of these lovely marble slabs where you can just you can literally have it in your bathroom or in your bedroom put some lovely perfumes and lotions on it or you can have it as like a cheese platter in the kitchen for hosting and stuff like that so yeah that was my first purchase i was really proud of i just saw it like a glimpse in my eye at the underneath some stuff and I was like I've got to get that and then I saw the price and it was two pounds so I was like I've definitely got to get that so yeah that's what I got and I'm happy about it then the last thing I got let me just see if I can prop you up somewhere to show you so I can try it on and show you um is this gonna work right. okay so the last thing I got was actually a really nice blazer um, which I will, I'll go and get it, um, I'll definitely go and get it, uh, dry cleaned, I'll get it dry cleaned, that's the word, <laughs> I'll go get it dry cleaned, um, just so it's hygienic for me to wear, um, but I thought the colour's quite nice, um, it's this blazer, it's a men's blazer like that. Um, but it's a more quality one and it's got lovely gold buckle details which I think are really cute and really nice accent to an evening or daytime smart look so they've got really nice button details at the cuff and then two buttons at the front there and then it's made in England which is great so made in England there um, and then the brand is Austin Reed which my mum said is quite a good brand from like the olden days kind of thing so yeah I got this and um, it was a really good price it was only let me see if I can just sort this out a bit more I'm trying to get the angle a bit better yeah, it was only £10, would you believe? And it fits really well, actually. So I'm really proud of that. Um, it's hard to show you fully, but... Yeah. Really happy with that purchase. I just think the gold button details are really lovely. And yeah, really happy. So, 
even though I only got two things, I got two things that I really like, which is always better than getting loads of things you don't like. So yeah, and they're secondhand thrifted and I feel happy about, about it. Um, also, yesterday my mum and I um, went and because we were shopping for my nan, we got her her presents. We went to m and Marks and Spencers if you don't know. Um, and we managed to find some really lovely trousers, like capri pant trousers. Not capri, what am I saying? Cargo pant trousers that are really good for summer. They're really thin material, really cooling. And yeah, I thought they're something I should show you as well. So you remember I show you these. These are my favorite pants that have been through so much with me for like the past two or three years. These are my absolute favorite camo pants that are cargo type pants that I got from Cotton On in LA, but I found these ones in Marks and Spencers, which are slightly thinner material, which means they're light, uh, better for summer, even more so than my other ones, but these are just this other green, it's a very nice paley muted green camo trouser with um, the pocket details on the side, tortoise shell. Um, and then they go in at the cuff with a cuff elastic detail at the bottom but I thought these are really nice and they also have elastic on the back so they're very comfortable almost like you're wearing joggers but you're not and they're very cooling so I got them in this pale green colour muted and then I'm actually wearing the other pair that I got which is kind of like this pinky version if you can see it's hard to work with the camera when it's um, horizontal, <laughs> like when you're trying to show trousers and stuff. But yeah, hopefully you got the gist. So they're really comfortable and I highly recommend. They're in Marks and Spencers right now if you want to get them. Um, I can probably even leave a link if I find them online. Um, but yeah, I just think they're a staple and I'll probably go back and maybe get the plain colours. Like they've got a dark khaki green colour and things like that so yeah that is what I got yesterday hey guys it's the next morning um, I'm just gonna have a nice shower I have recently been trying to do my nails at home to save money let me just um I've been doing my nails at home to save money and just because I've always wanted to be able to actually do my nails at home because I I got I've had my nails done for so long and I thought why can't I just try and do it at home seeing as I've got time to try and learn do it at home learn and do it at home so yeah um but this one has randomly fallen off in the night they are acrylic tips they've lasted like a few weeks now and I've changed up the colour and I've done it without a nail drill so that was really good you just file it off with a certain grit level of grit like quite a is it coarse yeah quite a coarse grit I think and then it comes off easier to get like the nail polish off to change the nail colour or something um I haven't quite figured out how to do the infill yet so they have grown out a little bit so I'm just gonna have a shower get fresh wash my hair and then I'll probably I'll either fix that one or take them all off and start again with fresh ones I'm not sure but yeah and then I think I might go to another thrift store today with my mum so if I do do that then I'll get extra footage and then if I get any more bits I can show you, um, I'm also waiting in for, oh, that was it just now, I've ordered a knitting linker and it's just arrived, hold on. <laughs> okay you guys, um, I've just had a shower, well I haven't just had a shower, I've had a shower, I've redone my nails so they're just similar colour but <clears throat> with my natural nails, um, so I took off the extensions just for a bit. Um, my hair's wet, I just need to blow dry it and do my makeup. Lunches. Just a prawn salad with olives, radish, 
cucumber lettuce and then I do have some pomegranate in there as well so that's just what I'm gonna have now for lunch and then I'll start getting ready and then I can unbox my package with you guys <laughs> And we are back. Okay, so now I've received the package. The package is secured and we have got a delivery to unbox. So yeah, this one's quite a big one because it is in fact my um how am I gonna do this? Let's see. That's the question. It is in fact for my knitting. So that's great because then I can start my knitting on the machine again. So basically what it is, is it, it it's a linker. So it um, professionally, I feel like I need to elevate you a bit more. Hmm, let me just try and find a box somewhere quick. Yeah, so what it is, is it's a linker, which means I can professionally link the clothes or the knitwear I'm going to be making. So it makes it a lot, you know, it, it just finishes off the item rather than sewing knitwear. The professional way is to actually knit the panels in the right shape in the right pattern on the machine and then you link it together and then it just looks flawless and you can't really tell where it joins kind of thing if you do it with the same yarn um but yeah i i wanted one and um well i wanted one during my degree but i just you know they're quite expensive so now come now came the time that i could get one and it's hopefully gonna really be a life changer for my knitting so yeah just gonna open it the thing is is that my i've cha i've done my nails with my natural nails they're quite long now but i don't want to break them so i'm gonna do it with some scissors and be a bit careful if you see look, let me just show you so this is what we're working with we've got two boxes here i've got to unpack this one because this is the link a stand and so I'll unpack this first so I can stand it on that straight away and then that's the um linker but I think I'm actually going to the thrift store now so I'll probably get back to this unpacking a bit later here we are guys this is my special linker machine that's going to help with my hand knitting to join all the stuff really well I got the manual one because I thought they might last longer if it was manual because then it might mean that um, you know because the electric what if something went wrong with the electrics whereas I thought if I get the manual it might last me a lot longer or potentially forever so yeah I'm happy with that and um, they've also left a bit of some knitting on just there randomly I think maybe they just check that it's in working order or I don't know unless it's unless it's just a random example they leave for you to see how to thread the machine but yeah I'm happy with that I can't wait to try it out um I think when Dexter gets back from work he'll probably want to see what it's all about as well so yeah happy with that and it's also from Nottingham which is quite cool so it's made in England and yeah but I'll update you later when I do link knitting with it and I'll show you how it links when I figure it out
Okay, I think I will leave this video here and I'll say goodbye to you guys now and um, this was just a little vlog showing you some things I'm thrifting sorry these are my yarns for my knitting machine I'm just showing you things I'm thrifting and um, and just a little update of what I've been up to hopefully you'll get some good content of me going out and about a little bit more as the time goes on so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys soon thank you bye it's been a while she got my nurse tense back when i ain't even have a purpose i was so eager to learn some things anxiety bring out the worst to me society paint me as enemy my niggas making it by that remedy i'm more occasional don't do it regularly backs under my eyes weighing down heavily mama been worried the devil allegedly deep in the plan subconsciously wanted it since i was 10 i thought i was sharp on my scroll and my pen think it did so mama found she did them ledge she told me that's not who i am but now these i put on for the fam see